Can you see why they're called love bugs? Last you saw me, I was wrapping up a six-day road trip with my friend Tacy, where we were both camping out of our cars. Well, I live in my minivan, but she was camping in her Ford Escape. We last visited Lover's Key State Park in Naples, Florida, and now I'm on my way across the Everglades to pick up my friend Rachel from the Miami airport and take a cruise. But I have 24 hours to get to Miami. Let's go. I get to throw out my old pants. I just threw my pants out. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. What do you think I did with my 24 hours? Of course I spent it in more state parks. <laughs> oh crap. I just had my first big spider in the van. <gasps> I'm hanging out in an Aldi parking lot. That's my fancy digs for the evening. I don't mind spiders, they eat mosquitoes. That means they're my ally. I don't like the idea of having something in here. And I don't know if you know this, but in Florida, the spiders are big. There it is. Can you see it? It's crawling around. I caught that spider in my pea jar. That is my pea yogurt container. All right, let's take this guy outside. I am far away from my van. Here's the little sucker, let's see how he comes out. Get on out, little buddy. <laughs> oh. Hey, man. Glad he's walking in the direction opposite of my van. <laughs> At Homestead, Florida's Walmart, I then decided to film a van tour. I know when I tell most people that I live in my minivan, that they're really curious to see inside, there's not much to see. And I will show it to you with the caveat, you're not allowed to feel sorry for me because I choose this life. That's my bed. It's a couple of sleeping bags, a wedge pillow, an extra fleece blanket, and some pillows. I got a closet and all the way up here is all my stuff. Two plastic shelving towers. One, two, that have all my clothes, all my first aid, all my tools and uh, you know, some extra stuff in there. That is my night bag. This is my water. Brita filter. And then behind that is a red milk crate that has kitchen stuff, butane fuel for that camp stove right there. One burner, Coleman stove. And on top of it is a backpack you cannot see that has my portable kitchen in it that I take to a picnic table. I'll be using that this morning so you can see how it's used and probably right now. probably just hit subscribe right now. After I left Walmart, I drove to Collier Seminole State Park, which is just inland of Naples, Florida. The park is the site of the last existing Bay City Walking Dredge, a National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark. Didn't know that existed. That is also listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It was built in 1924, used to build the Tamiami Trail, US 41, through the Everglades and Big Cypress Swamp. It linked Tampa with Miami, thus Tamiami, and opened Southwest Florida to travelers. It also ruined the ecosystem of the Everglades. <laughs> so, hey, there it is. I'm going to see that today. That's pretty cool. It is just so strange to see this enshrined as a symbol of progress when it is also a symbol of how good humans are at effing themselves over by destroying ecosystems. <laughs> it's fascinating. Wow, what an artifact here at Collier Seminole State Park. Miselis and Earl Ivy operated this machine six days per week, alternately working 10-hour shifts each day. Each two-man crew often worked in sweltering heat with swarms of tormenting mosquitoes and seemingly unlimited mud. Yeah, it's the Everglades. The dredge crews had a clear objective. The highway required a solid foundation of limestone. This limestone, which lies underneath a thick layer of muck, had formed out of an ancient seabed. 
It was the duty of the dredgemen to move the limestone onto a spoil bank after it had been blasted apart. From this continuous pile of mud and rock, other work crews formed the roadbed by breaking up and compacting the fill. A small visitor center in the park resembling a blockhouse symbolizes the government's failed attempt to remove the Seminole and Miccosukee Indians from this area during the Second and Third Seminole War. I went on a short nature walk that was easy to get to from the parking lot. And oh man, I am really, really glad that I did. I had no idea what I was in for when I left on this walk. But stay tuned and you will find out too. It's raining, so there's nobody out here. I brought an umbrella, but I find that a nice wide brim hat like this is very effective and hands-free rain protection in Florida, unless it's really pouring. In which case, seek shelter. And suddenly, I was on another planet. Wow. Wow. I've never been anywhere like this in Florida. Wow. Wow. Look at all these palms. Palms and leather ferns everywhere. Although rare elsewhere, one of the three original stands of royal palms coexists with large areas of mangrove swamp. I've got to say, their little nature trail 45 minutes with the royal palm hammock in the middle. Oh my gosh, I've never been anywhere like that in Florida. Apparently there's only three of them left. I just washed the uh, mud and swamp off of my feet at the bathroom and I'm going to head over to Fakahatchee Strand. Strand swamps, water-filled linear channels in which trees go. It's like a tree river. They're unique to Southwest Florida. Fakahatchee Strand is the world's largest subtropical strand swamp. It stretches 22 miles north and is the only one with a mixed royal palm cypress canopy. Located just off of US 41, not far east from Naples. As a preserved state park, Fakahatchee does not have many facilities to speak of, but this boardwalk could be considered one. Notice the logo, Friends of Fakahatchee, is an orchid. This region is known for Florida orchids. After Fakahatchee Strand, I crossed the rest of the Everglades on 41. US 41 and the canals beside it that allow this to be dry land and all of that to be the Everglades. Indian Reservation, gas station and general store. And I picked up my friend Rachel at the Miami International Airport and we went to crash at a Walmart. Stay tuned if you'd like to see me host my close friend with me in the van. We also go on a cruise in Miami. Like and subscribe. <laughs>